All right, guys, today we're going to talk about the four things that you can do to decrease your risk of macular degeneration. If that interests you, stick around. All right, guys, so we're going to talk today about the four things that you can do to decrease your risk of macular degeneration. Before we get started, if you like what you see, please hit that thumbs up, that like button, and that will let me know that you liked what you saw. If you really like what you see and you want to see more on my eye care and wellness channel, please consider subscribing. Hit the bell next to the subscribe button, and that will let you know every time we upload a video. All right, so let's get at it. Let me guess. You have a family member who has macular degeneration and you're worried that you may get it yourself. You did a 23andMe or an Ancestry.com DNA test and found out that you have one of the variants that may put you at higher risk of macular degeneration. It terrifies you and you're wondering what you can do. Well, we're going to talk about that, about the four things that you can just do in your everyday life to decrease your risk of macular degeneration. So, so, macular degeneration can be really scary. And if you want to know what it truly is, it won't be in this video, and hopefully I'll do another video on it, but you can look at videos on YouTube on what is macular degeneration. It's going to show you. The macula is the very center of the retina, and when macular degeneration occurs in mild cases, there's some central distortion, faces get a little wavy, it's a little funky, but it can really advance into loss of central vision so that if you're sitting there watching me on this video my whole face is garbled and then you just can't wherever you go to move your eyes to that garbled spot will follow you you won't be able to read it's it's really really devastating so if you have macular degeneration in your family if you are concerned that you may get it if you find out on um 23andMe or on Ancestry that you have the genes for it and you want to know what you can do, that's what we're going to talk about today. So guys, the four things that you can do to decrease your risk of macular degeneration. The first one's a freebie. Didn't even include it in the first four, but it's probably the most important. Please don't smoke. And please, if you do smoke, consider stopping. The worst cases of macular degeneration I have seen in my practice in 27 years are smokers and I don't know what it is but I believe that when you smoke you are literally turning that gene on for macular degeneration and I have seen some awful awful cases of macular degeneration in smokers so that's the first one that's the first free one the first one is make sure that when you're outside you have on a good pair of sunglasses and I would prefer them to be like a Maui Jim and Oakley, a Ray-Ban, something that is a known name. You can always bring them into my practice and you can always bring them into your optometrist practice and have them tested and they will tell you how much UV light is getting through them. But it's the harmful UVA, UVB, UVC that does all the damage in the retina as well as some of the um, the higher frequency B, um, not the higher frequency B, the higher frequency blue light that can do some damage to the retina as well. So make sure you have a good pair of sunglasses. Imagine, I don't know how much this happens now, but it used to happen a lot. Maybe it happens on sites like Amazon where things are brought in from China a lot. But imagine getting a pair of sunglasses that are really dark and you put them on and you're like, wow, these, these are really working well in the sun. But they were never tested. And even though they may say they're UV protected, if they're not, your pupils behind the sunglasses now are under lower light levels. So they open more and it's logarithmic the way the light enters the eye. So just a small increase in pupil size lets in a tremendously amount, a tremendous uh, more light into the eye. And that can do a lot of damage if they have no UV protection. It could be worse wearing the sunglasses and not wearing them. So that's why I say make sure you have a good brand. Um, most of them, most of the good brand names, you have nothing to worry about. So 
But that's why I think it's really important that you know that, that there are some out there that could do harm, more harm than not wearing them at all. I also don't want to um, forget, as I'm talking about sunglasses, how important it can be just to wear a good brimmed hat out in direct sunlight. That is tremendous about uh, with keeping the direct sunlight out of your eyes. If you have a pair of sunglasses on, you think you're protected really well, but there's a lot of light that gets around it, and a good brim hat will help decrease that risk of more light coming into the eye. So that's number one. Number two, this is the craziest thing ever, at least in optometry. If you eat green leafy vegetables, and I'm talking kale, spinach, collard greens, broccoli, avocados actually even have a lot. A lot of the pigments, which are in the green leafy vegetables, which is lutein and zeaxanthin, and those pigments, and this is the crazy part, those pigments, when we ingest the green leafy vegetables, the only place in the body that they are deposited is in the retina. And it's actually a bell-shaped curve around the macula to protect us from the harmful light coming in, the UV light coming in. So it's incredible protection. It's simple. If you have family members who have macular degeneration and you're concerned, you should be eating green leafy vegetables every day. So it's a tough call when people don't. Um, eat green leafy vegetables and they're at higher risk, I will usually point them to a product like Occuvite or Preservision. Life Extension has a really good MacuGuard. Um, and I'm gonna put all those in the links in the description down below. But that would help immensely. I do believe that as a nutritionist, the benefits to eating the actual green leafy vegetables far outweighs taking it from a pill. But if you don't want to eat any green leafy vegetables, I would way more rather have you take the supplement than to take nothing. So there's that. So that's number two. The sunglasses are number one. Number two is eating as many green leafy vegetables. So number three is omega-3 fatty acids. And you can either get them naturally by eating fish, which is really tough to get enough. I like to see people take 2,000 milligrams a day, of which 50% is EPA and DHA. You can find that on the label. But the omega-3 is an amazing neuroprotectant. And there have been studies that show, there have been many studies that show that the omega-3s will help protect you against macular degeneration. So that's number three. The fourth is actually something that is derived from red wine. And no, I'm not gonna tell you to go drink a bunch of red wine to protect your retina. Um, we'll be causing all other problems. But there's something in the red wine called resveratrol. And resveratrol is a very potent antioxidant. And when you ingest it, the studies are showing that it does a lot to protect the macula from the harmful light coming in as a antioxidant so all right guys so thanks for watching this i hope it was helpful if you have any questions please put them in the comments below again if you liked what i had to say please hit the like button consider subscribing till i see you again be safe and take care